Santa Fe, New Mexico is one of the most culturally diverse regions in the United States. Santa Fe, otherwise known as the City of Holy Faith, is recognized as being one of the oldest capital cities in North America. The city itself was founded by Spanish missionaries in 1610, hence becoming a Spanish colony. Due to the historically high influence of Christianity in the region, it is said that Santa Fe is enriched in many different urban legends that tie, in some form or fashion, to iconic biblical figures. We looked into those urban legends, and from our research we have trumped over a particular legend that has upheld a more recent influence in the region. This would be the story of the Loretto Chapel. Today we have headed to the city of Holy Faith in order to tap into local demographics to research what is known about the urban legend. We have consulted with the Loretto Chapel in order to discuss the legend of the Loretto Chapel staircase with the professional on this story and historical site. Okay, um, well the chapel was built in 1878. It was completed, but it didn't have a staircase. There was no way to get up to the choir loft. Because back then, um, most choirs were made up of male singers, and they would just use a ladder to climb up into the choir loft. But this was a girls' school, and it was run by nuns, by sisters, and they wore these big gowns, you know? And so they couldn't really climb the ladders very easily. So they prayed for nine days and nine nights to St. Joseph, the patron saint of carpentry. They did a novena to him. Uh, and then on the ninth day of their prayers, this mysterious man showed up with a donkey and very minimal tools, and he built the staircase in a matter of like, I think about six months or something like that. And, um, and then he just left without being paid or thanked. Yeah. So um, we're at a local shop, and um, we just met this guy. Uh, just give us your name. And um, my name is Brandon Pettis. Yeah, I live in San Antonio, New Mexico. Oh, okay. How long have you been here? Uh, my whole life. I oh, really? Born here, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like a generational family thing, or yes, kind yeah. of. No, no. Uh, my parents are from Guatemala. So oh, really? Came over here, yeah, and I was born here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like the Loreto Church is just on the road from your shop. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of, what do you know about it? Uh, what I know is that a lot of people really like it because um, how it looks. Right. It's a mm -hmm. native style to New Mexico. Right. That's what they really love about it. And then, like, do you hear a lot of like uh, people talking about the spiral staircase? The staircase, yeah, that's what they mostly come. What, what do you know about that? As far as uh, I've heard of the story that uh, like a saint or someone came to Santa Fe and built that without using any nails or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how it was made. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, kind of having your shop close by, does that attract like a lot of tourists and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, everybody yeah. That, that comes through here, they ask for that. Oh, really? The spiral staircase. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I think that's all. Due to the high array of activities in downtown Santa Fe, this is where a large concentration of tourists are going to be located. Because the Laredo Chapel is only a block away from the main square, we will conduct an interview with the tourists to see how much they know about the Laredo Chapel, as well as if they have ever even heard of the urban legend surrounding it. Today, we found this gentleman from El Paso who is willing enough to give his insight on the chapel, the miraculous staircase, and the urban legend itself. I was at Santa Fe, and um, I just met this nice gentleman, and are you from out of town? I am, yeah. Okay. I'm from El Paso. El Paso, okay. Yeah. Um, Texas, right? Yes, yeah. yeah right. Well, we're practically in New Mexico. So. See, say, what did I tell you? <laughs> and, um, yeah, like, what do you know about the Lorero Chapel? You know, I know uh, kind of the, uh, probably what the tourist brochure tells me, um, uh, mainly about the staircase, right? Um, uh, and I've seen pictures of it, I've never been inside. But, really? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to, but I, I think we're always, I have kids and just I'm with my mother-in-law and so I'm just always walk by it. Oh, yeah. um, so, but I've seen pictures of it and uh, I know the story of the, well, I knew, probably knew the, more of the story the last time I came and we were reading up on it more, but definitely that it, uh, it, it defies uh, the laws of physics and gravity, so. Yeah, I've heard they had like a lot of structural engineers and architects and they yeah. had no idea. Right. Um, 
I'm in construction myself, and uh, I, we've built spiral staircases well support. And all it is is really just, um, it's just balanced based off of the weight, yeah, and it's all right. tied into a micro. But huh. this was done hundreds of years ago, huh. so it's kind of huh. mind blowing. Yeah. Um, as far as like the story of the staircase, what do you know? Kind of just. Well, I know that it has um, that that it had, a, and that's what I remember from last time I was here that it has a religious connection. Um, I guess I'm not a religious person, and so I forgot that part of the oh. story. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I know that it, it was said to be uh, a miracle, essentially. Uh, um, but I don't remember the story, so. I think that's all we have. So yeah? yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. From what we have been able to gather, the Loretto Chapel is widely known, and not just locally, but on a much wider scale. Tourists and locals alike, whether religious or not, can all agree that the Loretto Chapel in one way or another is a miraculous sight to see. The legend tied to the chapel will marvel construction experts and religious followers for generations to come.